Wave number two now for your Brazilian. Highlining this one all the way through here now. And it's going to slow down through the car park section. Massive That was incredibly keen. That was huge. Down the line, lots of speed. We've seen this already. And that's a beautiful, complete loop from Philippe Toledo. Now a little pocket ahead. Watch again. Another one. Yeah, that is just incredible. Like a helicopter from Jaybay is a place beautiful, with a beautiful culture and high waves. This year I came to Jaybay with only two days before the event. Thank you, Lord. It was enough time to test the pranks and find the magic. Thank you, Lord. It was enough time to test the pranks and find the magic. Thank you, Lord. It was enough time to test the pranks and find the magic. Foi muito bom poder ter a Nanda e a Marina dando suporte para mim. Pude mostrar um pouquinho da África para elas e o suporte fez uma grande diferença. Fez com que eu quisesse vencer o evento ainda mais. Durante o round 1 me senti bem, surfei bem, mas apenas peguei uma onda boa. Obrigado, senhor, porque o segundo round foi abençoado com duas direitas incríveis. Direto para o round 4 devido a uma lesão do Kelly. Durante o round 4, o tubarão apareceu 
e a bateria teve que começar no próximo dia, o que foi muito positivo para mim. Que ali não satisfeito com o outro, meu Deus. A posição ficou perfeita. Ali. Perfeita. E eu tinha cavado muito já. Eu falei, eu vou dar um fake com a era. Só que aí já tinha cavado muito, tá ligado? Uhum. Aí eu falei, ah, não, vai ter que ser o peito. Aí já tá saindo fumaça, velho. Olha a água que tá quente. A água tá quente. Tá saindo fumaça dentro da água, né, Vivo? Tive que voar por causa do tubarão. O tubarão voou, tive que voar também. Boa. <risos> No dia das finais tinha altas ondas e eu estava me sentindo muito bem. E o resto foi só história.
Your typical day will start around 6 a.m. The guides will organize your food, drink, tackle, and bait, and then you're off to the beach. And it's time to buckle up because nothing's get real. I remember when we arrived in 1970. There wasn't much to do here, but you get used to a feeling. And that feeling stays for longer than you realize. So there's a very good reason to stay. I want to share that feeling with others. August 4th, 1944. During World War II, Anne Frank and her family are among eight people arrested in German-occupied Amsterdam. That happens when Nazi police raid the secret annex of her father's office building, where they have been hiding. Anne's father, Otto, is the only one who survives after the 15-year-old and her German-born Jewish family are sent to concentration camps. Following the war, he publishes the diary that Anne kept while in hiding, a famous account of the Holocaust. 1914. In the outbreak of World War I, Britain declares war on Germany. The United States proclaims its neutrality, but joins the war on the side of the Allies more than three years later. 1964. For you live in the shadow of ten feet of road, if you're Goodman and Schwerner and Cheney. In Mississippi, the bodies of three missing civil rights workers are found buried in an earthen dam. That happens six weeks after Ku Klux Klansmen ambush and kill Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Cheney. The three workers disappeared while trying to help blacks register to vote. 1892. Andrew and Abby Borden are axed to death in their home in Fall River, Massachusetts. Lizzie Borden, Andrew's daughter from a previous marriage, is accused of the killings. She is later acquitted. And 1901. Louis Armstrong, the jazz legend considered one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century, is born in New Orleans. Today in History, August 4th, Camille Bohannon, The Associated Press. <laughs>